friends welcome to our channel uh, this is pasha let us start our today's topic in generally in our day to day life you might have come across the word line what is a line a line is a collection of points in a straight path extend endlessly in both the directions and next ray what is a ray ray is a part of line it has one end point and other side it can extend endlessly on the other side now a straight path between two points is called a line segment we can also say that it is a part of a line or it is a part of a ray so it has definite length it can be measured so my question is can we form a closed figure by using two line segments so it is not possible can we form a closed figure using three line segments yes it is possible so a closed figure made up of three line segments three or more line segments is called a polygon is called a polygon and uh, this three sided polygon is called triangle three sided polygon is called triangle and name of the triangle is abc triangle tri means three there are three three angles it is three angled figure so that is why it is called as triangle and if you observe the parts of a triangle there are three sides ab bc and ac and there are three angles angle a angle b and angle c next uh, there are three vertices vertices are nothing but corners of a triangle so here vertices a b c sides of a triangle sides of a triangle a b b c and a c next to angles of a triangle angles angle a angle b and angle c so angle a it can be written as angle b a c or angle c a b also so this vertex a it represents an angle now angle b in the same way angle b it can be written as angle a b c or angle c b a okay in the same way angle c it can be written as a c b or b c a these are the sides angle center next to vertices what are vertices vertices are corners of a triangle vertices a b c these three are the vertices of a triangle now can you answer my questions now which is the side opposite to angle a the side which is opposite to angle a is bc and the side which is opposite to angle b is ac and the side which is opposite to angle c is ab in the same way the angle which is opposite to bc is angle a and the angle which is opposite to side ab is angle c and the angle which is opposite to side ac is angle b these are the parts of a triangle now triangles can be classified according to their based on sides and angles so based on sides triangles are of three types based on sides triangles are of three types those are based on sides triangles are of three types first one is equilateral triangle equilateral triangle what is an equilateral triangle a triangle whose all sides are of equal length name of the triangle is abc a triangle whose all angles are whose all sides are equal here 3 cm the measure of ac is 3 cm and measure of bc is 3 cm if you observe here here all three sides are of equal length if all three sides are of equal length if all three sides are equal in a triangle then it is called an equilateral triangle next isosceles triangle isosceles triangle a triangle having two sides equal 
isosceles triangle isosceles triangle a, tri a triangle having two sides of equal length here if you observe name of the triangle is abc here the measure of ab is 3 cm and ac is 3 cm and bc is 5 cm so here if you observe these two sides are equal in length and this is uh, 5 cm other side so it is called an isosceles triangle Next to scale and triangle. Scale and triangle. Scale and triangle. If all three sides are of different length in a triangle, so it is called as here three centimeters and five centimeters, and the other side BC is seven centimeters. If all three sides are of different length in a triangle. Then it is called scale and triangle. Then it is called scale and triangle. AB is 3 cm, AC is 5 cm, and ABC is 7 cm. All these three sides are of different length. So it is called scale and triangle. Next two, based on angles. Triangles are again three types. Based on angles. Based on angles, triangles are of three types again. First one, acute angled triangle. Acute angled triangle. What is an acute angled triangle? A triangle whose all angles are acute. Here if you observe, uh, let us take name of the triangle is ABC. Here angle A is 60 degrees, angle B is 60 degrees, angle C is 60 degrees. Here, a triangle whose all angles are acute is called an acute angled triangle. What is acute angle? An angle which measures in between a 0 and 90. More than 0 and less than 90 is called an acute angle. So it has all three acute angles. So that is why it is called as an acute angled triangle. Next to right angled triangle. Right angled triangle. What is right angle? Right angled triangle. Right angle which measures exactly 90 degrees. A triangle whose one angle is 90 degrees. Here this measures 90 degrees. It is 90 degrees and 30 degrees. It is 60 degrees. So 90. Here name of the triangle is ABC. And uh, here angle B, e, it measures 90 degrees, is a right angle. So a triangle whose one angle is right angle, so it is called as a right angled triangle. Next, obtuse angled triangle. What is an obtuse angle triangle? A triangle whose one angle is obtuse angle. What is an obtuse angle? Obtuse angled obtuse angled triangle obtuse angle triangle obtuse angled triangle so here a triangle whose one angle is obtuse angle 110 degrees and here 40 degrees and here 30 degrees a triangle whose one angle is obtuse obtuse means an angle which measures more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees is called an obtuse angle. So here 110 degrees it is an obtuse angle. So a triangle having one angle obtuse angle. So it is called an obtuse angled triangle. So triangles can be classified both according to the sides both sides and angles. The triangles we can have the following triangles based on both uh, sides and angles first one equilateral triangle equilateral 
next isosceles next to scale and triangle next year acute angled acute angled acute angled equilateral triangle if all three all three sides of a triangle are equal and then all angles are acute angles so it is called an acute angled equilateral triangle next to a triangle whose two sides equal and third side is different length so it is and here all three angles are acute so it is called an acute angled isosceles triangle and third category here acute angled scale and triangle acute angled scale and triangle here all three sides are of different length and all angles are acute so that is why it is called an acute angled isosceles triangle next right angled right angled there is no right angled equilateral triangle as we know that hypotenuse uh, the sum of uh, uh, the two sides uh, square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides the hypotenuse it measures uh, it is a long side now right angle the isosceles triangle here one angle is uh, right angle and the other two sides are equal and it is hypotenuse it is in different length so here it is called right angle isosceles triangle these two sides are equal so next to this is right angled scale and triangle right angled scale and triangle here all three sides are of different length and uh, here one angle is right angle right angled scale and triangle next obtuse angled obtuse angled isosceles triangle here two sides equal and one angle is obtuse angle so it is obtuse and obtuse angled isosceles triangle next to and if you observe this triangle one angle is obtuse angle and uh, these two sides are of different length and all three uh, three sides are of different length one angle is obtuse angle it is having so it is called an obtuse angled scale triangle and uh, these are the properties of a triangle so we will discuss more uh, in a further classes so if you are watching for the first time then uh, subscribe my channel for more videos thank you